Thanksgiving is over. We've probably all put on about five pounds. And I don't know about you guys, but I've somehow got like 45 pounds of leftovers in the fridge. I've got to do something with them. So I'm going to show you how to make turkey pot pies. This week on Working Class Foodies. I'm using a ton of leftovers in my pot pies. Leftover mashed potatoes, leftover Brussels sprouts with bacon, leftover roasted root vegetables, tons of leftover turkey, and of course, homemade stock. As you can see how we made it in this episode. Rather than make a traditional heavy creamy bechamel sauce for my pot pies, I wanted to make a base that would use leftovers and be a little bit lighter. To make the base for my pot pies, I reheated my leftover mashed potatoes on low heat with a little bit of vegetable stock. Mix it together until it was creamy and smooth. Leftover gravy would also be an excellent addition to your mashed potato base. While that was heating up, I cut my leftover roasted root vegetables into uniformly bite sized pieces, then added them to my mashed potato base. Then I added in my leftover roasted Brussels sprouts with bacon. I then broke down my leftover turkey, discarding any skin, fat, and bones, and shredded the meat into bite-sized pieces. I used about three cups of leftover turkey, dark meat and white, and added that to my vegetables and potatoes. Let all of your filling ingredients cook together for five to 10 minutes over low heat. And I stirred in about a tablespoon of butter just to keep the filling moist when it bakes. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, it's time to roll out our pie crust and assemble our pot pies. Last week in our Thanksgiving desserts episode, Brendan showed you how to make a pie crust that is perfect for these pot pies. If you haven't seen it yet, pause this video right now and watch this video before returning to this one. After you've mixed together your filling, preheat the oven to 375. Take your pie crust out of the fridge. I divided my dough into separate pieces, formed each piece into a ball, and rolled them out. I know it's a huge investment, but it's part of my master plan. Can run around the, backyard with our the easiest way to get your pie crust into these molds is to roll the dough over your rolling pin and then lay it out over the mold. Gently push it down into the mold and then trim off the excess. Keep your filling into your pie crust. It's okay for it to mound over a little bit. That's good. You want these to be nice and full. I added about half a teaspoon of butter on top of the filling before rolling out my top pie crust, just to keep the filling moist. Carefully roll a top crust across each pie, trim off any excess dough, and crimp it closed. Crimping not only looks pretty, it's also functional. It seals all of the juices and fillings inside the pie so it doesn't escape and things don't burn. Pinch one side of the dough with two fingers and then pinch from the other side with one finger. Make little U's all along the pie crust, like this. <laughs> Make sure to cut vents in the top of your pie crust to let out any air during baking. Brendan's pie crust recipe yielded exactly enough dough to make three perfect individually sized turkey pot pies. Lightly brush your pie crust all over with an egg wash made from one egg yolk beaten with one tablespoon of water. Bake your pot pies for 30 minutes until the pie crust is cooked through. Then let cool for about 10 minutes before serving. Gently remove your pot pies from their tins and serve.
Because I used nothing but leftovers for my filling, these pot pies were virtually free. You can factor in about a dollar for the flour and butter to make the crust, but that's a dollar over three pot pies. Way cheaper than any pot pie you'll get at the market. Now it's your turn. Let me know in the comments below what you do with your Thanksgiving leftovers. We'll see you next week on Working Class Foodies. Check out some of our other episodes to find recipes that would go great with this dish by clicking any of these boxes around my face.